How are things going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with some Skyrim walkthrough videos. I recently posted a video doing a walkthrough of Valthum, and I decided I'm going to do a video of another V-named tomb called Volunrud, or Volrud, or whatever. It's I, I'm not pronouncing stuff really well. This one is a little interesting because Volunrud can be used if you join the Assassin's Mission as a way to meet a person who is paying a lot of money for the death of the princess or queen. But that's a whole nother thing. In this case, you will unlock a tomb using weapons, and it's it's an interesting and very wealthy tomb to raid. And let's get on with the walkthrough. If you walk around the exterior of Volenrood, you actually can pick up some nice treasure. There's a chest here which usually will contain some gold and maybe a potion. And then there is a burial urn, which will contain some gold and a potion. And then over here in this alcove are two burial urns that will contain some gold. And it's nice right away, you know, to have treasure right off the bat. And then if you go down into the tomb, there is a treasure chest and a burial urn, usually containing, wow, yeah, some really decent treasure. And the burial urn, it can be empty at times, but there's a little gold. Once you enter the tomb, if you look down on the ground, there is a book and some gold. I'm going to switch to the dragon bone bow and sneak up. Again, there's Hedix volume and he's talking about um, there being the Kevnell's tomb and finding a couple of ceremonial weapons which would open the tomb and it's basically he's wanting to explore this tomb and find the body of the chief Kevnell or whatever and thinks there's going to be wealth involved. Well, these tombs are definitely loaded with Draugr and you wind up with uh, having to fight them. And this guy obviously failed. And there's a reason he failed. He didn't have bodyguards. And so this is his body. This is the Hedic guy's body that is right here. Took a dagger through the skull, not the knee. And then there is the iron helmet, nothing worth taking, but there's a skeleton sitting here. And I'm going to shoot it because it could attack you, and it's just a skeleton. Now, I'm going to switch over to the, um, at some point, the Warhammer, because I'm going to bash my way through this and maybe do some shooting being sneaky sneaky, but it's more fun to just bash my way through. Now, this area is actually where you would, if you were part of the Assassin's Guild, come in, find a bunch of dead Draugr, and you would meet the guy who's hiring you to assassinate the princess and the whole, or is it the king, I believe. Either way, it's something that you will end up coming to this tomb if you join the Assassin's Guild. And right now there's just some basic decent treasure. There is more if you 
again, are part of the Assassin's Guild and come on this mission. Now, the main tomb, and this is just off to the left when you enter. Now, the main tomb is divided into the main area, main sanctuary here. And then there's going to be two areas off to the side which you venture down in order to gain the weapons. Up here is a Diaz, and there's going to be some salt, which is worth it. And this and on iron shield isn't worth it. There's salt pile, that's worth it for alchemy. And this is the door, and you have to put a sword and another weapon in it in order to activate it and go into the main tomb. And the guy who Hedek obviously didn't do it. And I'm going to return this embalming tool, which I accidentally picked up here, because it's worthless. Now, like I said, I'm going to switch to a third-person view, and probably I'm going to switch toward the um, dragon bone hammer here. And like I said, I'm going to bash my way through. Now, the first one you enter is this iron door and you open and there's some draugr that will attack you and naturally you got to fight them. So you know you look around it's just a standard tomb and surprisingly this is all on one level. You don't have to transition through to another level where there is a load screen etc. And you come down this corridor and you're going to immediately end up fighting some very powerful Draugr. This one isn't that powerful, but there are Draugr Death Lords that are protecting the main weapon. These guys, yeah, Draugrite and a regular Draugr, they pop up on you. Again, they're relatively easy. It's the Death Lords that will get you. And this is a very short tomb. So once you have defeated the other Draugrs, this guy comes up, yeah, again, very easy to defeat. Then there is the big bad guys. You're probably going to get attacked by some Draugr lords when you go further down the hall here, or should I say into the depths of the um, catacombs. And this is where you really get hit. You open this iron door, and there's traps and two Draugr lords. Yeah, these two guys are teaming up to take me down, and they're working at it. The guy I'm most concerned about is the guy shooting with the bow. This guy, he's, yeah, goodbye. Now I'm going to close distance with this guy who's shooting with the bow and force him into hand-to-hand -hand combat because he's using a ebony bow with ebony arrows. And in the upper left, you can see the ceremonial axe that you need to grab. And this guy, I'm... Yeah, he's the one I want to take down first because his weapon is not as deadly. And the other guy just fled, so let's see what this guy has. Yeah, he had ebony arrows and an ebony bow. And then this is their tomb area. I'm going to pursue the other Draugr Lord, Death Lord, and take him down before I... Yep, he's right here. Boom. Take him down. And he was using a ebony sword, which was doing damage, but not as bad as the guy with the ebony bowl. And again, I forced him into hand-to-hand um, -hand because he had a steel axe. And now I'm going to get back into this tomb here and take a look. There's nothing there. There's only the ceremonial axe. And take that off the wall. And I'm going to fast forward to the next battle.
It doesn't matter if you do the right or left side first. It's, again, an all-in-one, on-one-level tomb. And in this case, there's upper levels. I'm just going to not take any more arrow hits here. And I'm trying to shout at the guy. And then this guy comes out. There's some traps. And this case, you have to go up a couple levels and find the, uh, how should I say it, the ceremonial sword. And the Draugr Death Lord, or one of the guys, kind of cast a spell here to, oh, Draugr Scourge. Yeah, they're casting spells to summon elementals. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to beat up the Death Lord, take the Scourge guy down, who's obviously the magic user, and then take this guy down very quickly. You get basically attacked immediately, so yeah. They've uh, narrowed their area of attack, and I took advantage of it. Now, the Draugr Death Lords sometimes have better equipment, and I didn't take anything crappy, so now I'm going to move on. And if you go to the left when you enter, there is a small stairwell up. Nothing of value I see, so you go up these stairs and you are taken to this open area where there's nothing, no urns or anything. You can look across and see where you came in. Nothing of real value. Then you come down, back down, and you come across and you go up this level and there is... Again, I see nothing of value, but you come up here, and the ceremonial axe is across this bridge, where there is, I think, yep, there's an ancient Nord helmet on a skull. Ancient Nord helmets, if you can build yourself some ancient Nord armor, it's really uh, kind of nice. There's a Draugr here. He hasn't activated, so I'll take him down. And then there is, in this, open this iron door, and here you are with the ceremonial um, sword, and it's in the tomb here. And you just take that. But, there's a Draugr attacking you right here, a couple of them. And, yeah, very easy to take down. Once I've taken them down, I'm going to grab the Ceremonial Sword and then get back to the main uh, area to activate the door. And again, I'm just going to fast forward through so that you can open the Elder's Cairn, and that's real quick. Once you get back to the main room, you put the sword and axe into their respective places and open up the door to enter and defeat Kevinel. Whatever. You will be entering the main tomb, and this is the only time you have to shift into a different level and go through all the load screen. But keep checking out the urns and other things because there are plenty of little things like gold and rings and stuff hidden. There's some books if you want to take the books. There's a potion. You know, just kind of keep an eye on things and, you know, salt pile worth taking, nothing else worth taking except a book here, the Wabajack, which is another mission entirely. And again, nothing of value, but there are going to be Draugrs attacking you, a burnt out corpse, which has nothing. And then there is the, uh, 
yeah, I'm going to look around here. And then, again, Draugr's are going to start attacking you and coming at you. And this is, again, I'm looking around just searching the corners because stuff can be hidden. And you come across the first Draugr, and it's a Draugr Death Lord. So this is some serious, serious stuff you're dealing with. And I'm going to continue on with the journey here. This guy only had a honed Nord battle axe, and this is the main tomb where you fight Kivol or whatever his name is. Force. Okay, you can hear in the background there is a word wall in this tomb, which gives you a, another um, shout power, which, to be kind of honest, uh, eh, I like the uh, just blast the guy away with the thum that shoves people around. You know, the stuff they teach you uh, in the monk, dragon monk order. Or whatever they are. This is uh, another area where I'm going to use a fast heal instead of a trying to deplete my potions. And yeah, these are some tough people when you're fighting them. And they can take you down pretty quickly. So potions are a must. And then when the battle is done... Do yourself some healing. Nightfall on Sentinel. That's a skill enhancement book. So I'm going to read that and see if it enhances a skill. It does. One-handed. I'm a two-handed fighter. Come on. I'm using a two-handed weapon. Now let's get to the word wall. Let's take some stuff here, some potions. But let's get to the word wall, which is in the next chamber here. Uh, yeah, that's garbage. I'm not going to take that. I see I missed a potion, but now the next chamber, there's nothing over here. So I'm going to run over to the next chamber over here, and this is the word wall. And you get the word for uh, word of Power Learned, Seek Aura Whisper. And then there's a Draugr attacking me. And I'm going to charge up and take him down. He's only hitting me with very little damage. And there's another guy who is, again, hitting me with very little damage. So I'm going to get into a bow duel with him here. Now that the duel is over, I'm going to switch back to the Warhammer. I'm going to search the Draugr, and then I'm going to search that burial urn that uh, I left behind here. And, yep, there's stuff in it. Some garnet and gold. No other burial urns around here. And I'm going to come up and cross this little bridge. And then search this room where there are there is a chest and a bunch of other stuff on the ground and again search the burial urns they usually have stuff in them i'm going to dump that battle axe i picked up and in, into the urn here hide shield another cool thing the dragon priest dagger you want to take that 
And then there's this book, Minor Maze. Actually, there is the Librith in the um, area of Skyrim where that maze is actually something you can walk through. Now, there's nothing around here. No secret pole handles. Now, in order to retain, return to the main Volarund without having to walk all over the place is easiest way to do things. I'm just doing a little quick check over, see if I missed anything. Um, again, I don't see anything. So all you have to do is drop off this bridge right here. You see down there, you just drop off and you can avoid the whole walking through and all the other crap you need to do in order to get back to the main chamber. You just, again, drop off the bridge. And then I'll fast forward to the end here. As you can see, Volarund is a pretty small tomb, but it contains a lot of wealth. And you don't, you can't take those weapons out once they've been put in. You just keep running back and forth through the door if you try that. But again, this is a very interesting and very wealthy tomb. It does have significance if you join the Assassin's Guild. And I don't know if I'll join the Assassin's Guild. I haven't joined any of the other guilds. So I'm going back to Skyrim here. And then we'll go back and deposit the treasure in my house at Solitude and go on more adventures. Again, this is a small but very wealthy tomb worth exploring. If you like this type of video, uh, hit the like and don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. I don't know if I have yet because I put these videos together uh, over time. And I'm very happy for the subscribers I already have. Thank you for subscribing. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by.